Grand Rising, everyone. It is Shay Seeking, and welcome back. So, yeah. <clears throat> I was just watching something on the media about domestic terrorism, right? And it's so funny, because it's like, um, you damned if you do, and you damned if you don't, right? So, you know, I'm going to just tell you right off the bat what I sense, what I see, what I know, and what the Bible say. So, or when it's, what it say in the Bible, right? So, just to put it all together, the energy within the community is people know who the particular chosen one or ones are, okay? Israel, not the light, because that's a branch off or offspring of Israel, which is native or not the original, which again, it doesn't matter. They're all here. We're here. I'm just going ahead and showing you the timeline. So we in this civil war, North against the South, whatever, whatever. All right. The South, the Biden administration is all about open borders. You know what I'm saying? The, the South basically is, you know, the South. And again, it, my family come from the South too. It just so happens that I'm the I'm considered or looking at the situation as queen of the North and of the South, but there's some people that are holding positions in power in the South. And more than likely that's looked at as the United States and across the border up here is probably looked at as something, I don't know, some kind of expansion of something. I wouldn't say for Canada, but I think that Canada has moved its border down into the Americas a little bit more like it used to be back in antiquity. And I think it has something to do with Russia and China and all this other shit that's going on in the North. Whole thing is the South didn't want nothing to do with the particular royal heir that's supposed to be in charge or running things at this point in time when it comes to the 400 years being over. And we're talking about, again, those particular blood lines. All right. So I, that's what I feel, which happened to be my bloodline, okay, is what I feel. They want to disregard which had been ordained in those who have been anointed, right? They want to say, oh, it's the Bible, it's the white man, it's the invaders, it's the colonizers. When in all actuality, it's us. It's niggas. Mm-hmm. And it's also, we'll say, uh, Caucasians, you know, that are maybe afraid of what they see going on when it comes to, you know, certain people, you know, changing their idea on land and everything like this, which is, which is, again, it's understandable because this is, is supposed to come. But what's happening is they want to push out those particular heirs that are, mm, or the so-called American, I look at it as a, a monarchy here in the Americas, Okay. As if they're they're the problem. So what they've done is all colluded or gone together, along with the Biden administration, to make sure that they remove the power, or strip the power from those bloodlines and those families, so that they can have it for themselves. N um, not knowingly or probably knowing that again, it was not going to be a problem to share the wealth, to share the land to split it up properly, to work together. Many of these people, I went to myself and personally for help and advice because they offered it and they did not want to give it. And now those particular people are trying to obtain my identity and uh, do things very similar to the way that I do them. And again, it's just unfortunate that those idols and from the Build a Bitch workshop to build back better, okay, I see it both on both ends. I see that this is a push, right? It's people thinking that they know how to play ball, but they don't understand that everybody's waiting for us to all the fall. You see what I'm saying? So it's supposed to make me say, oh, okay, well, I'll side with, you know, Russia, China, um, with the Ukraine energy, the um, Iran or Afghan en energy. And you know what I'm saying? Then that's a threat to America or the South. Which is, I'm looking at, that's what they're saying, the, that the United States now is the southern portion of the, probably the same land of, uh, line of demarcation or line in the sand, right? So again, what they want to do is take away the power or to 
use this domestic terrorism, which they are really the do domestic terrorists. Okay, if the way I the way I look at it, so they want to use that narrative to push further on the North, the Midwest, especially during this time of the winter months and everything, to try to put a strain on you know certain individuals, certain families more than likely. Okay, to make them um, to leave them out in the cold, right, or to have them suffer, right. You don't want to comply to the mandates. We're going to target individuals. We're going to make sure that certain things happen in your life, in your family. We're going to use tech. We're going to use these, um, you know, I mean, I think it's colluding the, the whole thing. I think that, you know, it's like a circling in kind of effect. So it would be unfortunate to have to side with, right, that energy because then you'll lose this part of the Americas. But it's a shame, but at the, end, same, at the end of the day, people have to do what they have to do to protect themselves. So we, let's just look at the whole thing as to how it could possibly happen, right? That we all end up losing because someone has to side with another, um, with uh, <clears throat> certain individuals that might have the power to take the whole damn country back. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's like, like I said, it's a lose-lose kind of situation at this point, right? So they want to say that certain people are colluding with you know, Russia, or again, it's bringing me back to Sheba and, and Solomon, right? It's bringing me back to that energy. But at the end of the day, nobody has a choice because what these people think is they're going to move from the north and come on into the south and take it over. And they think they're going to take it over for themselves and they're going to benefit, but they're going to understand that the whole thing is all these other, like I think Biden just said in one of his remarks today, um, it's a good thing we have to do this for our countries. And I'm thinking, well, which ones are we talking about? Are we talking about these states being countries again, like Africa? Are we talking about, you know, them, you know, being in cahoots with other, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just trying to look at the bigger picture. I'm trying to, we're going to go ahead and go to the scripture for a second just to see what we sense and feel. But it's what I see. Somebody uses one group in order to take down one group and take down, and everybody thinks they're on a roll and they're winning. And then, um, unfortunately, because they did that and went against our, their brothers and didn't help them and all these other things, they're going to end up thinking they're helping. But when they're done with them, they're going to eat them for breakfast as well. Maybe lunch, right? And then everybody's going to be sitting around here looking stupid as hell. Because just to try to keep one family away or to keep some certain, certain people away, you're going to wind up, we're going to wind up, end up losing the whole damn thing because... Everybody is waiting still on the outside to take it. And they have the, they have the power or the resources to do so. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. But most of these people are more worried about what's in the ground, what they can gain, what financial this, how much land. They, it's just greed, jealousy and greed. Right? They'll be, they'll be willing to leave their brothers with nothing. No love, no family, no nothing. They'll be willing to tear you apart. And in the end, the other countries are going to have to get, so it's problem, reaction, solution. The other countries are going to have to get involved, and then what's going to happen? Everybody's going to be taken down. And you, they're going to lose everything, again, because every stone is going to fall down. At the end of the day, if you're coming for me, and if you keep gunning for me, Georgia, Right? Now, I'm just starting to sense that this shit got something to do with motherfuckers that got money that live in Georgia. I'm talking about entertainers. I'm talking about all this shit. That those are the people, possibly even New York and other states, California, all these other states. Right? That want to make sure other people don't get jurisdiction over them. My mind ain't, be, ain't even on that. It should be, possibly. If I had a team, it would be. <laughs> It's going to be a lot of people that wish they would have went on this winning team. That thought they were the winning team. So they creep. They creep. And they're using, again, the political arena to press this whole thing by calling regular, normal, everyday people that are just trying to survive domestic terrorists when the real domestic terrorists are working under the administration. In my eyes. Because I'm someone that has been targeting by them in their sorcery and their their uh, mandates and all of this other goofy shit that they got going on.
Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm even look at the, the administration when it comes to drunks. I believe that a portion of that was used to do the same thing. And at the end of the day, they didn't realize that they was going to need America. <laughs> they didn't realize that. Because I see devastation and destruction. I see dis-ease. I see bringing motherfuckers to their knees. <laughs> I feel, I feel every knee shall bow. <laughs> I feel there's people out there that are, that are, that at one point in time were willing to do the right thing. <clears throat> but again, it's about greed. They're being used as pawns and puppets. And as soon as they're done with them, everybody will be enslaved. Everybody will be under these particular types of, uh, mandates and and things and, and everybody will be looking stupid as hell so let's go into the text real quick and see what we see all right so again <clears throat> you know because now they're going to be using special units with the military to go and and handle the disease okay so again Oh, 20, look, 10, 21 to 23. So this is making me think about um, 2021 to 2023, okay? And it says brother, okay? And we're in, oh yeah, 2021, 2023. So this is what's going on right now in the Americas starting in 2021, okay? Possibly with the insurrection, possibly. Okay, just looking at the bigger picture. Brother will turn against their own brothers and hand them over to be killed. Kind of like what they did to Joseph. Mm. Okay. Fathers will hand over. So when we're talking about all this stuff about these, uh, uh, what was it? About the uh, school districts or um, with these uh, things about this, this uh, parents um, and, and uh, standing up against the curriculum that's being taught to their children and, I, I want to call it something. It's called, uh, y'all know what it's called, okay? They're talking about a lot in the media, all right? I'm trying to use, figure out the real terms that they're actually using. Um, what do you call it, y'all? Mm, education. Yeah, okay, you know what I'm saying, all right? So again, um, fathers will hand over their children to be killed. So again, so loved the world that they gave their only begotten son, huh? All right. Possibly. Children will fight against their own parents and will have them killed. All right. So again, we're talking about these, uh, uh, unions that are being formed, whether you call it divine, masculine, feminine, whatever this energy is, People are being placed into new slave situations, new bodies, okay? They're being traded on the market, the stock market, right? So we have that raging bull there, you know, in New York, right? Okay? Uh, it's also making me think about the red heifer and the iron, I mean, and then the calf, the idol that everybody was worshiping that thought was going to save the day because of all of the things, the trinkets and all the gold and shit that was put in underneath that. Right. And I feel like, again, at one point in time, they wanted to make this energy me that idol. But I'm the real motherfucking thing. All right. And again, now and I feel like, again, at some point in time, really, OK, it may have been some type of secret support behind this platform on other platforms. But eventually, you know, the idol, I feel, which is the bull from Georgia, you know, um, is actually the one that they're actually exalting. OK. All right. So it, it, it that has been exalted nonstop for the past couple of years where, again, this if you want to say that this is a bull. Right. Because I like to look at it both ways. I ain't never trying to make nobody think one thing or the other. Again, I ain't never here to tell you what it is. I ain't what it, I'm just telling you what it looked like to me. All right. So it's kind of like play, it's like play, that that two of pinnacles um, juggling act right there. Which one can we use? Which one can we use? Right. Which one can we use? Right. Are we going to use the son of God or the son of man? Which one can we use? It's going to be whichever one is beneficial to whatever they're trying to do. All right. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to do what the fuck I got to do. You heard? And I'm, I'm at the point where I'm starting to look like I want to see some motherfuckers in pain. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. The same, the same type of pain that they wanted to see me in. Me and my family left out in the cold. Yeah. With their crafty counsel and them putting their bag together in order to, you know, take me down or exploit me or crucify me or put me on the cross or put me, uh, you know, um, you know what I'm saying, in some kind of situation to, to, to expose or whatever the hell they call themselves doing, all right? Using the FBI, CIA, or whoever they're using in order to spy on people in personal uh, spaces and, and, and these type of things, even your children, you see? Because the same thing can happen to me, can happen to anybody else, right? So an unjust thing happening to one person is an unjust to all. Ain't that what King said since we're coming up to the anniversary? All right. So it says, everyone will hate you because you follow me, all right? But the one who remains faithful to the end will be saved. When you are treated badly in one city, go to another. I promise that you will not finish going to all the cities of Israel before the son of man comes again. Wow. Wow. These cities also are making me think about individuals, right? When it comes to connections again, divine connections or whatnot. <clears throat> now, remember, divine is kind of like, you know, take, taking something off of divine. Okay? I want to look at it. We'll look at it in etymology possibly. But let's just sound it out real quick and see if that's even a possibility. All right. So again, this is making me think, like I said, mm, this is making me think about, again, sitting here watching the energy of um, someone close to me traveling, you know what I'm saying? Doing a lot of traveling, going back and forth within the Midwest or, you know, I like to look at it between, you know, Illinois, Wisconsin and, you know, mainly just those two states. But I think, you know, I think it has to do with a lot more like Minnesota and all of them as well. <clears throat> All right. So again, this is so again, maybe even going to these cities is, um, you know, dealing with certain individuals from these places like we did the thing on Omar and Minnesota and, you know, um, uh, you know, Lizzo and the Min Minnesota Vikings. And then we have me right here. You know, what I'm saying when it comes to I would say like a Chicago and Milwaukee is where I was from. Um or, you know, um, <clears throat> I'm just thinking because there's like some kind of flip flop kind of energy here as, uh, where we're talking about the Midwest. And then if you flip that upside down, going down into Memphis and all of those other areas, <clears throat> again, I'm looking at it as a cross kind of energy here, um, uh, from the, uh, like I said, the north, Minnesota on down to the south, possibly Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? And then again, going from east and west, like the son of man comes from the east to west or whatever, or some shit like that or whatever it says. So, um, yeah, I promise that you will not finish going to all the cities before the son of man comes again. So, again, this is making me think again about... Um, yeah, the son of man. And, and I don't know, this is making me think also, like I said, about energy, um, harvesting and, and it's making me think about, um, soul snatching and doppelganger energy and alien forces. You know what I'm saying? Whether we're talking about people from a far off land or because that's really what it means. Or are we talking about something where we're talking about like alien, like, you know, Anunnaki, um, Nef Nephi. Nephilim, but Nephi, you know what I'm saying? I look at as indigenous to a certain extent. <clears throat> but again, this son of man energy here, um, this is making me think again about New York and um, Georgia and the two feminine energies that within the so-called indigenous community, people will ve be very aware of who those individuals are, okay? And I think a lot of these people are on a hush or quiet because they are benefiting from doing so. Um, they are benefiting from causing chaos and bringing drama. Um, people that used to possibly be in the entertainment industry from those two states, um, possibly even California, um, going in together with each other, possibly even Texas and Minnesota. I'm just looking at it in this kind of like spread out kind of energy here. 
<clears throat> and I wouldn't say so much from the Carolinas because really they can't touch that when it comes to the Carolinas and me. I don't think, again, I look at that as pride rock. And, you know, I just feel like, again, that's just, uh, that's not one of the big states or whatever that has something to do with this takeover. Okay. When it comes to the son of man. Even though it does have something to do with the son of man, because again, we're talking about Charlottesville. We're talking about these particular families or bloodlines that came into the Carolinas and mixed with what I feel would be my family. All right. Let's see. All right. So again, Jesus called his 12 followers together. Let's see. Oh, this on a mission. Didn't we do this? I thought we did. Jesus called his 12 followers together. He gave them power over evil spirits. You see what I'm saying? Um, and power to heal every kind of dis-ease and sickness. Now, this is making me think, again, about Jesus dealing with a false Christ energy, which is an idol, okay? Probably even, you know, um, a masculine energy posing as a feminine energy. Who knows? You know, I look at some of these people real funny, especially those two energies from New York and Georgia. Um, and again, I would have been one to come after that, the, uh, the trans agenda, not the individuals and the people, but the agenda and the narrative being pushed on the children within the public school system. All right. Okay. So again, I know that these people have it out for me in particular and people like me that maybe spoke about these particular things. All right. So again, it says, Simon also called Peter, Andrew, brother of Peter, James, son of Zebedee, John, brother of James, uh, Philip, Bartholomew, wait, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew, the tax collector, James, and son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon, Zelot. So instead of these people in this particular day and age telling you about t co taxes being collected, this is just basically having people work for free, possibly. And when they make noise about it, then getting rid of them. <clears throat> You see what I'm saying? And then say, oh, the hitman holler to make it seem like these people are guilty of something when they're just guilty of fighting for the rights of all the people that don't have a voice. All right. So <clears throat> let's see. It says, um, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, da, 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 Simon, Zelots, Judas is a. OK, so again, this is two things. One, a dream, a divine masculine kissing me. Right. Okay, I ain't gonna lie, it was sweet, <laughs> but again, um, that was a dream that happened, right? And then that that was okay, so that was a dream, and then in the um, in the flesh the other day, um, the soul, um, uh, my soul, uh, mate, okay, that I'm happen to be living with, be, with all of the chaos that's going on right now, that's the current situation, um, you know. Get, hadn't been feeling that good lately or whatever and came up and just kissed me on the forehead which was very strange and very rare okay so again looking at myself as yeshua or the christ energy okay um also with a masculine i feel that being the actual physical masculine part of the jesus energy in me as the christ energy but i think when it benefits these people for abuse or slander or to be crucified then they put me on the chopping block and the Jesus figure is the one that is possibly working under the Biden administration. All right. So it says Jesus sent the 12 men out um, with these instructions. Do not go to the non-Jewish people. So you know how Biden keeps saying, oh, we, we were, we're going to make sure that we get all the Americans out. And I ask you and I ask him, what does that mean? Does that mean Hispanic people? Does that mean, you know what I'm saying, um, so-called black people right that are still using um that term or the misnomer okay that again we're supposed to be waiting for god or source to free these people but again what are we dealing with here all right <clears throat> because jesus did say i didn't come i only came for the lost right tribe of israel not not everybody, not your mama, or your grandma, them, not nobody, but the law, not even the tribes of, he came for the lost tribes, right? But again, that makes me wonder, hmm, 
if the Christ energy is considered to be a lost part of that tribe because they are um because they will be still considered to be in that category with their people because they cannot see their people perish and be someone to do something different and allow all these people to perish so they're basically standing in the dirt or standing you know what I'm saying in that position with the people all right sacrificing themselves to a certain extent to the brutality of this regime right um <clears throat> I would say, um, because again, they just can't see leaving the people, you know, being a, a warrior energy, can't see leaving the people, you know, in a situation where they may be harmed or taken advantage of. All right. Um, <clears throat> and you know, which ones I'm talking about, the people that have, uh, grandparents and ancestors that have, uh, blood, put blood, sweat and tears and bones into this soil here in the Americas. All right. And don't go into any town where the Samaritans live, but go to the people of Israel. They are like sheep that are lost. When you go tell them this, God's kingdom is now very near. <clears throat> Heal the sick. This is talking this is making me think about again what they're doing with this military action and with the, you know, the antidote or whatever. Okay. Now, again, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm just really concerned about the um, boosters, right? Just seem like it's changing or altering something in the people. All right. Hmm. Okay. So God's kingdom is now very near. So, you know, you know what? I don't know. I don't know what this is making me think. Now, this may be talking about what I'm talking about right now. And I didn't even know that this is what it was going to come to because this may be why this just came to my mind. I haven't been in the text in a couple days. Right? So, I'm guessing the Lord, God, and Lord, and everybody been playing around all this time, right? All right? Hmm. But again, God's kingdom is coming now. Now, it's making it seem like it's going to be a turn of events. Somebody wants somebody to feel some kind of way, but I feel like it may be about to be, the tables may be about to be turning. Mm. Heal the sick. So this is making me think about, you know, who looking in the camera today saying, Go, if you don't have the, you know what, then get it. All right. Bring the dead back to life. Okay. Hmm. This is making me think about, again, um, black being dead by law or in the eyes of law free my people almost you know what i'm saying um this is what this is making me think of all right heal the people who have leprosy okay i did some on leprosy i you know it's skipping my mind exactly how thorough and what, what how far we got into it but i think we did do some on leprosy a long time ago all right and force demons out of people now let me tell you this all right this is making me think about Job energy. This is making me think about, again, like I told y'all, me seeing certain energies. This is what I'm telling you about me seeing, um, you know what I'm saying, being able to see energies in people, okay? All right? Didn't we just talk something about exorcist today? So, again, this was all some kind of, um, some kind of uh, tactical way like i said to push a narrative to control a situation it, it just looks like nothing else but that okay and force demons out of people mm. because again who put the demons there in the first place the lord guy energy the brooding vipers these these people that people decided to uh cast out the cornerstone and 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 come with them and now since again the son of man energy possibly. And now since they've gained as much as they can, especially when it comes to land, wealth, and anything else that's underneath it, you know what I'm saying? Now they can get the demons out of people because these demons have been causing havoc on the chosen ones all this time where it may have been hard to navigate or to be able to access um, the same things that these particular people have been having access to all this time. The certain things that have been shut down. Do you see what I'm saying? Shut down, right? Um, while, uh, the country was shut down during this, um, 
you know, this nothing spreading, okay? I give you these powers freely, so help others freely. Don't carry any money with you, gold or silver or copper. This makes me think about Queen of Cups energy with all of those different gems and stuff underneath the feet. Don't carry a bag. Take only the clothes and sandals you're wearing and don't take a walking stick, okay? So a crutch possibly, right? Or somebody that is an aide or something possibly. But again, this is making me think of something strange here. I mean, this could also be a car, right? This could be somebody that's walking around on foot doing this particular type of thing. But I'm wondering if some of these people are demons. Do you see what I'm saying? If some of these people that are said to be um, going and healing people, if they're actually spreading this ease and spreading the acts of demons around. Now, a worker should be given what he needs. Now, okay, now this make me think also, okay, wait a minute. This make me think about some kind of charity work. This is making me think about people going around, I mean, maybe even a wand. Like, wait a minute, and don't take a walking stick. You know, this is making me think about wand energy in the tarot, because the tarot is in the Torah and the Torah is in the tarot, all right? Yeah. Hmm, a worker should be given what he needs. You know, this makes me think about public workers. You know, because they're doing they were doing they're doing military now. So I think that whatever this was, I mean, it, I don't know why it's making me think about some kind of like whoring, right? Because I'm seeing that deck, I'm seeing in that alter that alternative deck that I have. Right now, the the uh the king of wands in, is in my mind. But it's after the King of Wands is all worn out and he's hold he's barely holding on to his stick. <laughs> he can barely go, go on anymore. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like it's making me think what what if somebody could have turned sanitation workers or different workers into some type of um, you know. Yeah. I wonder if something like that could be working. You know, like a secret society, a secret group or something. Do you get what I'm saying? Because we're just talking about in Jerusalem. If we talk about Jerusalem being in the Midwest, then we're just talking about that area. Aren't we? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, this is making me think about this. As a matter of fact, I just seen a helicopter again. You know what I'm saying? It's funny because somebody close here uh, left from around here without a vehicle and then came back in a vehicle. Right? But there was a helicopter that came down i remember again a soul sibling did a video and they had something like wood something in their um title and i noticed that it was a um it's called wood something road or whatever but um i noticed that was that was there and then i noticed that again there was a helicopter very very close that came and dropped something off and ended up um leaving you, you know i don't know it makes me making me wonder about at home testing or something and if it's really legit what they're saying or is it something else you know, is it somebody putting some kind of germ or some kind of something in people, dropping it in neighborhoods in order to put these de demons in people to possess them, to terrorize certain people, to have someone close to them? Because, again, um, I did have a dream about somebody being, um, I don't know, I'm seeing grandmother, grandfather, but my daughter had a dream a while back, probably with a couple months ago, six months ago or something, and said that a grandma or something came and strangled me in my sleep or something, right? You know, these kids be saying the darndest things. They say the darndest thing. Because my daughter came and said, you know, we're multi-trillionaires. I said, I don't even know if it's a certain damn thing as that. You see what I'm saying? It's just to some of the th these things that these kids say, it just make you wonder what, what's really going on. All right? So, again, <clears throat> you know, and it's just so funny that, you know, I'm telling stories today. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. And I feel like I feel like the South is saying they ready. And I'm just wondering what the hell really mean. Mm. 
a worker should be given what he needs. And again, this is making me think about the whole thing of the finances energy. Cancel culture, trying to cancel people out before you can pay them back some dues or something that you owe them, Georgia. Hmm. When you enter a city and town, find some worthy person there and stay in his home until you leave. This is making me think about spirits, seen and unseen. All right. A house is not a home or some shit like this, right? Strange behavior around here. Very strange. Very strange. Very strange. Actually, very strange. Very strange. <laughs> mm. Mm, 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 mm. Man, let me tell you. When you enter that home, say, peace be with you. If the people in the home welcome you, they are worthy of your peace. May they have the peace you wish for them. But if they don't welcome you, they are not worthy of your peace. Take back the peace you wished for them. Hmm. Yeah, this is making me think about something here. It's also making me think about like extended family. It's making me think about people joining together and living with one another some kind of way. I don't know if this is seen and unseen. I don't know if this is 3D or not. You know what I'm saying? But again, you know, it's, it's almost like a welcoming energy would have to be me seeing what the hell somebody is really talking about and who we talking about, right? To make sure that these people are to test the spirit, to make sure that they are who they say they are and they're there for what they say they are there for. You get my drift? Rather that's the neighborhood or not. Again, because I'm seeing snakes in the grass or uh, vipers in the grass in the garden. All right. All right, so take back the piece. So again, maybe this is making me think again of a masculine energy. Could possibly even be with Joel energy. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is somebody not letting somebody in. And so, you know, their peace is being taken away. They're going through these things here. And again, for me, I I feel like this whole thing has been going on with me for some time now. But I feel like now they're passing that attack mode energy over to the masculine. And I don't think that he can take it. But I feel like I sense this is what I, I've been asking what's going on here. And I'm and I'm looking. I feel, feel like he's trying to fight whatever this battle is. And I've been asking what is it. And I feel like this is confirmation as to what it is. I say it's spiritual warfare. But again, if you just be careful because somebody might be saying they're coming in for something and maybe coming in for your demise or they think you're waving the flag to say, hey, come on in. I can't take it anymore. And if you're talking to me, I'm a motherfucking savage. I'm a warrior, a motherfucking monster. And at the end of the day, I'm all right. You see what I'm saying? I'm all right. It's almost like starve them out. Right. Or in hunger. I seen somebody with a hat in one of these meetings with uh one of these poli political arenas or whatever on TV. And it made me think about, again, um, uh, the soulmate or whatever being very strange when it comes to food all of a sudden. So I'm thinking that they're programming people or they're doing something like this in order to force people to do certain things. You know what I'm saying? And this for it's just like I said, unfortunately, I can see this kind of shit. So, you know what I'm saying? And for me, I, I got I will eat canned food in the fucking basement before somebody get me to do some stupid shit. I'll tell you that right now. I'm good. So we see these bare shelves and we wonder what this is really talking about. They're really trying to force someone to ass assimilate to something. And I don't know why I'm here in Ukraine energy. All right. So again, peace be upon you. That that that's also Muslim or Islam, which is making me think about the alternative card that shows the divine feminine. I mean, the uh, Queen of Pentacles on her on her throne, and it shows the the male energy with his turban on his knees, bowing to her, like it's gonna be. And the peacock for royalty is sitting right next to her. It ain't gonna be no other way. It said, and if the people at the home or the town refuse to welcome you or listen to you, then leave that place and shake the dust off your feet. Again, I don't know exactly what this is talking about, but again, we can see. Ain't nobody asked me nothing, so I don't know. 
All right. I can assure you that on the I don't want to assume a motherfucking thing. I don't want to assume nothing. I don't want to be wondering if nobody coming to me in my dream. I don't want nobody trying to hypnotize. I don't want none of that shit. If somebody got something to say to me, they can say it to me directly. Use my name and properly address me or I don't want to talk to nobody. Period. It's done. <laughs> I can assure you that on the judgment day, it will be worse in, uh, for that town than for the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. So we'll see what this is talking about. Again, this is making me think about some type of movement here. Okay. It's almost like colluding Russia, China, the U.S., all of them colluding all against one tree that's in the center of the garden here in the Midwest, here in Jerusalem. All right. So again, let's see. Jesus warns about troubles. Listen, I am sending you and you will be like sheep among the wolves. So be smart like snakes. Again, we'll see. But also be like doves and don't hurt anyone. Hmm, I don't know. Be careful. There are people who will arrest you. See, you see what I'm saying? You know what? This makes me think about what uh, Watch Caller was saying tonight on uh, Fox News. Um, What is his name? Tucker Carlson, okay, um, was saying on Fox News <clears throat> here, okay, and I don't know, something struck me about his face today, his facial features or whatever when I clicked on that, you know, and of course people in the so-called black community are going to, um, or indigenous community are going to say, well, hey, why are you looking at that and why are you paying attention, I pay attention to everything, I can learn something from my damn, um, from anywhere, I mean, again, I don't discriminate when it comes to information. It's what it is. If somebody is being truthful and honest and if I can see whatever it is they're saying and I can discern, then you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. I don't care what you say. It's about what's right and what's wrong at this point in time for me. There are people who will arrest you and take you to be judged. Um, they will whip you in their synagogues. Um, you will be taken to stand before governors and kings. People do this to you because you follow me all right um you will tell about me to those kings and governors and to the non-jewish people you know this making me think about also what you call it um mr west the sun coming from the east to the west right okay it wasn't there some guy on youtube that was called kanye uh east or something like that a while back like, I don't know, I, it was like a spinoff, knockoff kind of, I don't know, energy or whatever. I, I don't know. Okay, I just thought I remembered that for, from a couple months ago. Let's see. Um, people will do this because you follow me, but this is also making me think about, again, um, the sun of the north energy here. Um, you will tell them about me to those kings and governors and non-Jewish people. Okay, so this is making me think about, um, yeah, this is making me think about some people that's be pissed off about this. When you are arrested, don't worry <clears throat> what to say or how you should say it. Um, at that time, you will be given the words to say, well, damn, I guess this is what it is, huh? Okay, but again, like I said, what I'm saying is it ain't, I'm not concerned about a damn thing. You understand me? All right. I think that, again, this is people within our own community that are conspiring with governing forces in order to take certain people out because they know that they're more powerful, powerful than them. They know that I am that motherfucking I am. You understand what I'm saying? That's why. And they think that they're going to end up um, winning and it's going to end up the case that the day they do that is the day this whole motherfucker is going to crumble. I'll tell you that right now. It will not be really, um, it will not really be your, you speaking, the spirit of your father will be speaking through you. So again, this is uh, kind of like the grandfather energy that was whispering in today. Um, again, maybe even father energy through a, another, through, I'm hearing David, okay, or, okay, David, okay, I'm hearing that energy. Okay. <clears throat> but also, I don't know why I'm hearing something about William, right? Or Bill or William. Again, that is my father's name. It's making me think about royal bloodline names of some of these individuals even today. Um, you know, William and them. Because it's as above, so below. 
right? So even when I think about Moses, I think about maybe more uh, Pharaoh energy, possibly, you know? Making me think about family secrets or something, possibly, here. But then again, when we're talking about that, yeah, okay, could uh, Joseph is making me think about Joseph, making me think about William or Bill, but also is making me think about, again, begotten sons, because they could have all been pharaohs, but some of them were chosen to be of the royal bloodlines, right? So that's why we would be those descendants right now. We would be those ones that would ascend. We would be those ones. So I'm even thinking about Dan and Manasseh and half tribe and all that energy there too, right now for some reason. <clears throat> so let's see. So yeah, it's giving me the world card in the wreath of the that looks kind of reptilian with the eyes all around it, with the energy of the American beauty energy. Um, so again, it's just giving me this whole thing. Okay. And then the ancestors up that ribbon that is wrapped around her body for protection. So again, I do feel like, you know, divided, we will motherfucking fall. You understand? All right, let's keep moving. <clears throat> it says brothers will turn against their own brothers and hand them over to be killed. Fathers will hand over their own children to be killed. Children will fight against their own parents and will have them killed. Now, this could be talking about children and parents and just like it's saying, but it can also be talking about governors and things handing over their particular children. So, like, when it comes to Wisconsin, I can't remember what his name is right off the top of my head. I don't want to say no names. I don't even want to say no names. <clears throat> I don't need to give them any more ammunition that, that I'm concerned. Like I told you, it don't even seem like I'll be up in this motherfucker no more. You understand? I'm definitely here. This girl is on fire and that they can see the flame in my motherfucking eyes. You hear me? I'm hearing double-edged sword, George Washington. I'm hearing a whole bunch of shit right now in my head here. Okay? So, let's see. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, again, this may be, again, me feeling like, again, the masculine, divine masculine energies have been coming in you know, throughout the lineage, and they have been almost attempting, like, luring the Lord. So, again, thou shall not tempt the Lord energy, where I'm just looking at people with the side eye, like, what the hell you really want? You had all this time to do whatever. And maybe this is why, again, I spoke those words earlier, that nobody is going to be over me. <laughs> I'm claiming all the motherfucking thrones. You understand what I'm saying? Just because of what these people have done. I choose myself because I can't trust none of these motherfuckers. I'll tell you that much at this point in time. We're going to have to have a sit down. I'll see who I trust then. <laughs> All right. So, again, this is making me think about, again, divine masculines and stuff like that, which is very sad because, you know, this is going to leave feminines. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just it really is. And, and most of these feminines were fighting against the divine feminines or certain feminines just for re reasons that, no reason at all. So sisters going against sisters. You know, sister he sisterhood being dead to a certain, it's, uh, along with brotherhood. When it ain't no hood like fatherhood. You know, and that's what I was just thinking about with the energy of divine masculine. It's almost like the same damn energy, you know what I'm saying, for me. I don't know if this is for every single feminine, right? And and I don't I'm not afraid to show it because I know that I'm different and that's why the fuck it happened this way. All right? So I'm kind of glad it happened this way. All right? But the whole like um sitting here waiting like with the whole backpack and shit on, you know, to be picked or selected. When it, it seemed like there was not even going to be a problem at one point in time. But then it seemed like everybody else is moving on and selected. And I'm sitting here and I, my daddy ain't never come pick me up. So, again, it's almost like gave, somebody loved the world, um, gave their only begotten son. So, again, maybe that's the energy of Mr. West with this um, imposter or whatever that he acting like he, you know what I'm saying. It is what it is. Because I'm hearing tell me as me you won't, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Oh, 
my goodness, everyone. So again, who was killed then? See, because this make me think about the real divine masculine. You know what I'm saying? This is making me think about something about Georgia and California, like the real divine masculine might again. And hey, rightfully, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what nobody's real intentions have been. But maybe again, he is being rebirthed in another energy at this point in time. And this is what's going on. In the flesh. You understand? So again, children will fight against their own parents. And this is making me think again about the people going against their um, governors. Right? Because everybody's starting to select what they want to do, who's taking the mandates, who not, who enforcing it, who not. So again, this may charge something here. All right? <sighs> Let's see. I'm trying to see where we were. Okay. All right. And again, it's funny how, you know, being treated badly in these cities. So it doesn't matter if I went to the South. It doesn't matter if I go here, go there, go there. People still, you know, feeling some kind of way. So I stay where I am. So again, students are not better than their teachers. And let's just go ahead and go flip this because a lot of these governors are students of the, the teachers. So let's just keep it real. A lot of these governors and the president and all these other people are students. Do you understand what I'm saying? Of certain teachers that are us. We are the ones that we have been waiting for. Let's not get it twisted. Servants are not better than their masters. You see what I'm saying? So you could call yourself good. It's the whole, the whole thing about calling good evil and evil good. Calling people servants that are actually and treating them as servants and having them slave away as if somebody is master over them when they're fucking minuscule. You get that? You see, you see servants got a capital S here. Just think about that tricknology right there. That that some type of a hijack right here. Students is in the capital, but that's the first thing here, right? Servants is also the, oh, sh come on, man. Hold on. Oh, man. Really? Mm. Let's go back. I might have been getting ahead of myself. Hold on. Yeah, these are two to the um a beginning of a sentence. <laughs> Even though I feel like they could have put and there. They could have put and there, but again. All right. Students are not better than their teachers. Servants are not better than their masters. Right? So, again, you can act like you're in the likeness of something, but don't get it twisted. When we talk about that whole thing about the old G's and the new agers taking over and spreading the information, where the hell did you get it from? How you going to bite the hand that, fed, that, that fucking fed you? You understand what I'm saying? All to try to take somebody else's identity or take somebody else's shine. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 ridiculous. All right, and then get mad when somebody wanna call it out. But it does say students should be happy to be treated the same as their teachers. Huh. Yeah, because they feel like they stepping on the teachers. They feel like they taking over from the teachers. They think, feel like they better than the teachers. This is why I talk about passing the baton or passing the torch. From the people that get it out the mud and then some. You should be happy that you treat it the same. But at the same time, they are because they have been able to be exalted in, as idols in surpassing the teachers. You get what I'm saying? To make it seem like the te to trap the teachers or keep them under under wraps or under, under, yeah, under wraps actually. So that the idols can ascend. And then the teachers will be trapped in being able to still be used and sucked on by succubus energy and black widow energy the whole damn time.
If those people call me the ruler of demons and I am the head of the family, then it is even more certain that they will insult you, the members of family. Like I just told you, if they calling me this, then I'm telling you they coming for your ass at the end of the day. Fear God, not people. So don't be afraid of those people. Everything that is hidden will be shown. Everything that is secret will be made known. I tell you all this secretly, but I want you to tell it publicly. Whatever I tell you privately, you should shout for everyone to hear. Don't be afraid of people. They can kill the body, but they cannot kill the soul. Like I said today, you can do whatever you want to do. You could try to embarrass me. You could try to do things. I already know what my life was like before you motherfuckers came in. So at the end of the day, you can do whatever you want to do. You can do what you want to do to these people, but you can't have my soul. You can't have my soul. I don't want nothing the fuck you got to give me. If you talking about you need my soul in, um, I am about to say in advance. <laughs> if you need my soul as payment. So fighting for the soul of America seems kind of like baloney to me. Unless you're talking about fighting to take it. The only one you should fear is God. The only one who can send the body and the soul to be destroyed in hell. All right. So again, this is making me think about a divine masculine. Right. But at the same time, it's made me think about me. Because it seemed like some of these divine masculines ain't even been keeping it real with me. Why? Why? And this today, I've been doing a lot of shouting. I said, hold on, what's wrong? Why you shouting? You ain't been mad. You ain't been pissed off in a long time. And this ain't got nothing to do with no hurt feelings. Something else is going on. It's a lot of betrayal and deception around here. A lot of speaking all sideways, uh, uh, speaking one way with their mouth, but doing their actions, doing other things. Hell, my ancestors was gods. So what I'm, you know what I'm saying? What, would I be worried about a man telling me that I can't get this or I ain't going to be able to do this? Even though it does, like I said, it, it irritates me because people have to be worried about being able to um, survive and have their own livelihood here. If you don't agree with these people, you know what I'm saying, and you have an online business or something, they can destroy you or at least try. When birds are sold, two small birds, this is making me think about um, Anunnaki energy for some reason. Cost only a penny. But not even <clears throat> one of those little birds can die without your father knowing it. Mm. Birds can't fly in a cage. God even knows how many hairs are on your head. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than a whole flock of birds. This is making me think about the hermit card. And the man standing there with the star inside of a cage. Okay. So it says here, 32. Um, don't, um, it says, if you stand before others and are willing to say you believe in me, then I will tell my father in heaven that you belong to me. But, um... If you stand before others and say you do not believe in me, then I will tell my father in heaven that you do not belong to me. So again, this is making me think a masculine energy is maybe projecting this energy here, but it's also me projecting the energy to them because I was offended today when I saw a vision of an image of masculines. And I felt like the energy I sent out was you know what I'm saying? I need to know who really with me. I don't like the way this shit feel. And I feel like something had to happen. Somebody had lost their life. Something happened recently. Okay? Where this energy had no 
problem before as if they wanted to, if, if they were in um, union with spiritually or whatever with. You know, it made me take, it's making me think about take a bow, taking a knee, Scorpio energy, the knee of the world card being on that, um, on that M that kind of looked like, I think it's the Scorpio energy, um, but it also looked like a temple and somebody was standing there in the doorway or a, a creature is right there in the doorway of it is what it looked like to me underneath her knee. It made me look at my body. Okay. It may, it really was a very intense feeling to look at that world card and look at my body and look at where my, um, where my, um, birthmarks sit on my body and looking at that card, right. And looking at that crown, that's almost imaginary. Like it's, it's like a faded crown there. On that image that I showed you guys there. So there is this energy like of to make me feel like this particular like source or this particular God doesn't care, but nothing can change the way I feel about that particular God. So I don't care what. So again, I do see the dual energy. I do see the two wands or the two batons. I do see the the two um, divine masculine still here. I, I see the energy. I feel heaven and hell here. A Lucifer, Lucifer but not in the way of Satan, right? You know what I'm saying? Not in a uh, satanic way. I see Lucifer and I see, you know, um, Jesus or um, that energy. But it's like you're going to hate one and love the other. And for me, energy, realizing who I am in that Godhead energy or that God energy. I can't, I can't hate, you see what I'm saying? Ooh, that's some shit right there. Whew. All right. So yeah, this is making, what this is making me think about. But it's almost a, it's almost trickery though. It's almost like pay homage to me. And I'm just thinking like, get behind me, Satan. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm hearing if Satan cast out Satan. So that's what I'm thinking. If Satan cast out Satan, I'm thinking, you know, what is we talking about here then? Then you got that God energy or that G that you see on that Freemason symbol that's in between that uh, compass and that thing, which makes me think about the lion's gate. Or the gate, or the highway, or whatever, to heaven. Or I guess a motherfucker could say to hell. Especially if they're going to hear me saying all these cuss words right here. But I talk to God how I talk, you know what I'm saying? Of course, he hear me talk anyway. What You know what I'm saying? If I can say a cuss word on camera or off camera or while I'm reading the Bible or I'm not reading the Bible, you know what I'm saying? It, that, that ain't never stopped me from getting any type of so-called blessings or blessings any other time. <clears throat> There's humor there when I talk to Source. I don't know about you. So again, this is making me think about energy here. Don't think that I've come to bring peace to earth. Now, this is making me think again about... um. Don't think that I've come bring peace to earth. What song is that that just went through my mind? Oh, my goodness. You act like we. It was a song that was saying something like you act. I think it's by Keith Sweat, possibly. I can't remember which one it was. You act like everything is good in between you and us, you and me, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's what that's making me think. But I think, again, it could be personal or it could have something to do with another energy included. It has something to do with finances or something included. It has something to do with me not subduing and being replenished like they want. It's something to do with possibly even, you know what I'm saying, um, the Biden administration here. Okay? A threat. All right? I did not come to bring peace. Now, again, this is, I'm also getting a lot of energy here. I came to bring trouble. I have come to make this happen. 
A son will turn against his father. A daughter will turn against her mother. A daughter-in-law will turn against her mother-in-law. Even members of your own family will be your enemies. Already done. 36. All right. Damn. 36. Mmm. 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 I don't know why this 36 is turning to 3333. All right. Those who love their father or mother more than me are not worthy of me. This is making me think about feminine energies that have been having masculines come against me this whole time. And they pay homage to them. This this is talking about people in exalted positions or high up in society. Whether we're talking, you know, we're talking as above, so, so below. This is talking about feminine energies in the industry. Feminine energies in the industry when it comes to Georgia or any other, uh, other place. When it's talking about New York. When it's talking about Khalifa. When it's talking about any of these other places. This is how I feel. Again, that these feminine energies have overstepped masculine energies as well. And again, I feel like this is what I sense. This is what I sense with the cancel culture and all that. People trying to cancel people out is no, they they know they done done some shit wrong. Period. They don't want to pass the baton. They don't want to do whatever. They don't want to admit. They don't want to whatever. They think they better. They think they got this and they think they got that and they're gonna be able to see. And those who love their son or daughter more than they love me are not worthy of me. Period. This is what I'm thinking. Um, let me tell you what I'm saying in my head last night because I'm tired of it. I sat here and took a lot of stuff throughout this whole ascension, throughout this whole time, and enough is enough. I'm putting me first. Those who will not accept the cross that is given to them when they follow me are not worthy of me. Now, this could be the masculine energy saying that, all right? Those who try to keep the life they have will lose it, but those who give up the life for me will find the true life. Nah, I guess it could be at a standstill here. But I feel like when we're talking about 39, when we're talking about those who um, give up what they have, I feel like the whole time here, I have been willing to offer up whatever, to follow whoever, not whoever, but whoever is that true energy. But it's always have been a fake hand placed out to say, come with me. It has always been a sense of something, but that's why I said today, that I don't want nothing to do with this stuff no more. If it's just going to be uh, unopen, I mean, if it's going to be, it's even hard for me to name what I feel like this has been. Because it's always been about the energy was there. But it's almost like when I say, okay, where the, how, how can I follow you? But again, it makes me think about the cross or a threshold in the mind. You know what I'm saying? Being able to take yourself there mentally somewhere, right? But also feeling like this is something in the 3D. But it's almost like, again, to trust in that energy inside of me, I'd rather trust in that energy than that man. Even though for me, somebody like me with the mind that I have, I've been looking for this energy in the 3D. You get what I'm saying? I've been looking for this energy in the 3D. But also knowing if I go there because all of this energy has been luring to move me off that square, that this may be a setup. I have to go there that, to that natural high, right? That natural high, that ne most high self that connects me to source. Sekhmet who reduces to silence. Those who love their son, um, son or daughter more than me are not worthy of me. This doesn't make me think about your children. I, again, to each his own, discern it how you want. This is not making me think that we're talking about children like your babies. This makes me think about masculine energies choosing their... Mm, divine feminines over god that's idol worship you get what i'm saying even if somebody went and did some trick shit i mean trick stuff let me calm down okay 
and, and try to marry someone else or do a common law marriage behind somebody's back. This is what this is what I feel like has been done in a sense with some of these masculines. Because of finances or whatever. Instead of building with the true divine feminine. Right? So again, are not worthy of me. So what just like people wanted to leave me lonely. When I know who I, because I know who I am and I, 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 sh, I, I have not changed. I mean, I've gone through a lot of change, but I'm just saying, as to saying who, what I came here to do. All right. And they still picked all these other feminines over to try to make it seem like I'm worthless. This is why I feel like it's a grandfather energy here. But then there's also a grandmothering energy here somewhere down the line. But then I think this grandmothering energy, I don't know, it's its like a hesitant energy. But I think it has something to do with the connection between me and this father or this grandfather or this other energy. I think that there's something here. Um, you know, and maybe that's not even a natural grandmother that I grew up around. Maybe it's another grandmother. Maybe I didn't grow up in, in the right family. I don't know what this is. Maybe, again, it may be a great, great grandmother or something like that. I don't know. But I feel like, again, from another side or a step grandmother or something like that. But I feel like there's an energy here that doesn't like, you know, again. Low key, I sense that also with with the Obamas for some reason. I'm just saying what I said. Possibly even with the Clintons and Bushes. I don't know why. Maybe even with Trump. I don't know. I, I, I sense this energy here when it comes to the energy that I carry in between the masculines and their feminines. Or their wives, the first ladies in the in the presidents. Something about energy here. I don't know. All right. We'll try to keep their life. Um, they have will lose it. Okay. So I don't know if this is. I don't know why I heard the antidote here. I don't know. A change, alterations, possibly. But this is also, you know what I'm saying? Um, th this might be somebody trying to keep somebody in a third party. Because this is this is how, again, th this is how a masculine will definitely, you know what I'm saying, turn me right the fuck, I mean, right away, is by talking about some third party. Especially if you're talking about some female being over me. And I feel like that's exactly what they've done. And I feel like that's why this grandfather energy is here. And, and it's going to be a problem. For these masculines trying to play me and trying to put me in some kind of situation. When the jig is up, it's supposed to have been done already. And I feel like somebody was trying to get some finances off of or exploit the Christ. Period. There's only this little piece left. So again, we might as well go ahead and see this here. This whole thing, giving up the life, this could be also coming out of the heavens, right? And bearing the cross, possibly being underneath that threshold or when we're talking about the, the um, not the insurrection, but the um, infrastructure, right? Underground energy. Okay. Whoever accepts you, accepts me. And whoever accepts me, and the one who sent me, whoever accepts a prophet because he is a prophet will get the same reward as a prophet gets. At whoever accepts a godly person just because the person is godly will get the same reward a godly person gets. Now, these are godly with a cap with a lowercase g. Remember that. Ye are gods, but this is talking about, again, us being gods and goddesses, empresses and empresses in this time. So people better be careful because the big G God is being spoken of up here in the higher parts. Right? 
So again, I don't know why 40 is prominent right here for me standing out. A lot of things, 40, 40, 40, 40. I'm just hearing a lot about 40 um, in my head. So I don't know. So it says, whoever accepts you accepts me. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Whoever helps any of these little ones because they are my followers will definitely get a reward. Um, even if they only give them a cup of cold water. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like, again, this is a... Um, for me, I feel like it's people saying, you know, I just said I want to cut anybody out of my energy today. You see what I'm saying about that? The poison food and water and the cross-examining of this type of energy here. See? You see what I'm saying? So, again, it's I've, uh, as soon as the cr the straw that broke the camel uh, back. But it's all about heartache and heartbreak and deception and betrayal of the chosen one. Right? But at the end of the day, this is still, we, we're we going to go ahead and say that, again, if people is willing to ride, then, again, of course they're welcome. They ain't never been not welcome. I don't know who told them they wasn't. Except for one of these feminine energies that be giving them strife and everything because of them wanting to um, serve their God. These, Because these heifers want to be the gods or their God. They don't want to acknowledge who the real anointed one is. I said it. 